Hi there everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope we're all doing really well. Welcome to a new video this week. So this week I kind of wanted to do something representing something that means a lot to me. Now if you watched my previous video I did very briefly talk about mental health and about how much that means to me, about how much it's affected me and my life and I kind of hardly touched on it other than saying like a few little bits about it. So I just wanted to dedicate a whole video this week to exactly that. Now I'm a part of a theatre company called the College of Deviant Behaviour and we have a Zoom call every single Thursday. Every week we get sent out a stimulus by the amazing Cameron Jones. I will also link that YouTube channel down below because we're coming out with some amazing stuff by the way. A segment that I'm going to be a part of which I absolutely can't wait. Anyway, beside the point. Our lovely Cameron Jones sends us out a stimulus every single week. Now, this week, I just couldn't shake off the fact that it was Mental Health Awareness Week and I really, really just wanted to do something to kind of show how much it really does mean to me. I don't really know how to say it, but I was in a really vulnerable place with my emotions last week and I never usually take to pen and paper to help but I should because I saw a window of opportunity to be creative with it and just try and get something good out of a really shit situation, basically. So this week, my video is dedicated to that. I really want to help spread the awareness out there. I really want to be a part of making this subject not as taboo as it is at the minute. And I really, really hope that this helps. So... I created a little video to show for the College of Deviant Behaviour guys and I couldn't have asked for a better response from them. Every single one of them were just so, so supportive towards this and a lot of them have helped me and encouraged me to share this on my YouTube channel. This is something that I think that I definitely want to be showing in the future. It's something that I definitely see myself bringing to this channel and I really, really hope that you guys like it. So the video that you're about to see, I wrote the poem slash spoken word and Matt helped me film it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna leave it to the film to say everything else that I want to say about it. But I really hope you enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Once again, just want to reiterate, if anybody out there is struggling or if anybody out there needs somebody to talk to, please, please, please please know that you can reach out. There is people out there and it's going to get better, I promise you. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody. How do I tell myself it's going to be all right? Like, how am I supposed to do that? How do I tell my heart that it doesn't need to beat so quickly? I am living. I am breathing. Just not very well, not in the way that I want. I am trapped and I can't fulfill my desires. My dreams feel so distant. My head, my head, my head. I'm stuck inside and I cannot get out. These four walls of my mind feel like spikes on a wall to stop the homeless from resting peacefully, harmlessly. My mind is anything but. People say I'm not in the right headspace. The truth is, I'm in no kind of headspace. In fact, I've got no space. At all. I'm just in my head, stuck. And I can't get out. My own mind has this capability. It makes me feel so worthless, not good enough. Fat, but don't get too thin. Eat what you want, but not too much. You don't want to go back there. Save your money. But life's for living and memories last forever. Your friends mean the world to you, but they don't like you, so why bother? I just can't seem to control where it takes me. But soon after, the light appears. Like the red sky in the morning, it's my shepherd's warning that it's looking up. And I feel the happiest I've ever felt. My feet are back on the ground. And I look back at the past few weeks and think, why? Why was I so upset? Life is beautiful, life is perfect, I'm content, I am loved, I'm everything that I wanted to be. 12 year old me would be so, so proud. But I guess this is the thing with, you know, being poorly in the brain. 
you have your ups and you have your downs. There are very few and far between, but it's so hard to ignore the voice in your mind that tells you all of these unkind words. You are worthy. You are so, so worthy. This world needs you. Every battle is different, big or small. It counts and it's okay. It's going to get better. We're gonna be all right. I promise.